Hey everybody, this is just going to be for fun because preparedness, prepping, whatever you want to call it, should be for fun. And something like this little little tin right here could help you survive. Um, this is a a fun survival tin challenge. Um, I'm going to tag somebody at the end. But, um, have fun with it, you know, it's just, um, just something for fun. Uh, what it is, it, ha it has to be a survival tin, a tin of some kind that could fit in your back pocket, in your coat pocket, your shirt pocket, something like that that you could just take along with you, or you can keep it in your vehicle. Um, this one, I mean, and it could be... A medical, it could be a fire starter, it could be anything you want to be to put it in a little tin to, to take along with you. This one, I, I grabbed one of the boys' um, Star Wars puzzle tin and uh, put a rubber band around it. Rubber band could be used as a fire starter. But mine oh i hope i can get it there we go mine is to catch food so i've got two pair of rubber gloves right here for for cleaning fish and animals so you don't want to get the blood on you i've got two of the little snares i make these are 364 119 by 15 inches i got two of those in there Here's another one. Um, here I have a pack. There's hooks and little split shot sinkers in there. Quite a bit of them in there for fishing. Um, I've got some bank line. I can use this for really a lot of things, but I can use this to tie my snares down so I don't lose them. I can use this for a fire starter because it's a nylon. It will burn real good. I could use it for shelter making. You know, um, I've got a, let's see, what is it? A hundred yards, 10 pound test fishing line, a little knife. A pack of matches and two band-aids something like that you keep on you you keep in your vehicle and if something does happen you have a way if you're round water which most of the time we will be a creek or a stream or a pond or something you know you can get water you got two little snares here that you could set out and get a muskrat a mink a squirrel something like that you got a fire starter you got you know other ways to help keep the fire going a little knife so you know and I, i'm a strong i'll talk about that all the time you always want rubber gloves when you're dealing with any type of animal cleaning it skinning it or fish because you don't know what pathogens or or whatever that could be in that animal's blood or that fish's blood and if you have a small cut on your hand and you're doing it bare hand you could get sick from it so but this is my little just a little food providing snare kit i don't know what you I mean um survival kit but it's just for fun and and that's what i you know that's what we need to do just if you have fun putting something like this together you know, it, it just breaks the monotony of prepping and everything. But um, I'm tagging Uncle Al at Die Bullfrog 79. I want Uncle Al there to do a survival tin of his choice. As long as the survival tin can fit in your pocket, you know, 
it counts. And if anybody else watches this that wants to do it and, you know, make a video, then tag somebody, you know, it, it, it's fun watching something like this where it's not always so serious. So tell me what you guys think. Leave your comments below, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now, guys.